Okay, so we're going to start by going step by step following the instruction sheet. And number one is B and C deck along with the bridge. You can see he already painted this section, B, C deck, some bridge area. Um, he also, I wasn't sure if I was going to use the clear bridge because he, had, he did paint the bridge that came with it. I'm um, the bag, let me get it for you. You can see the impulse drive is. Um, he had painted the bridge. You can see in there. But that won't be able to be lit. Whereas this, um, even if I just leave the walls unpainted, the decals will go on there and the lights will light up the, uh, the windows. Well, not the windows, the screens. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably go ahead and mask this off and paint it to the specifications. Dark gray on the outer ring, light gray on the inside, and then the captain's chair and the console, and kind of blacken the, uh, the consoles around the bridge area. The door will be red. So I'm probably going to do that. Let, let me go ahead and I'll I mean, if it comes out really horrible, then I'll use his. Um, it just won't be lit up, but let me do that. I'll mask it off and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I masked off the screens over the consoles and I masked off the main view screen. And what I'm gonna do now is paint it the dark gray And then I'll just have to do the interior circle, the light gray. But that's what it's calling for, the dark gray. And the consoles will be black. So what I'm going to do right now is just get that coat of uh, the base dark gray. Okay, so I gave it that dark gray. And, excuse the light. The shade that I used to get closest to that was the Rust-Oleum. I love the Rust-Oleum. Incidentally, I had used this for my Enterprise 1350 scale. And we'll let this dry. And while that's drying, we're going to move on to B and C decks. You can see he's already got it painted. So he didn't do the chrome underneath, but I'm going to check to see if it light leaks. And if not, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to start putting in the windows and getting everything ready. All right, so what I did was I went ahead and I cleaned it off with a little bit of mild uh, cleaner and got the stains off and the dust. So it was looking pretty good. And what I did was I put my phone underneath the um, B deck, the C deck, and there is just a little bit of light uh, leak that's coming up through the thing. So I know the plastic is thick. You wouldn't really need um, a lot of light block, but I used my phone flashlight, so maybe that was stronger, but just to be safe, um, this is what Joe used to do the inside. So that's what I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of the Rust-Oleum up inside. All 
All right, so what I did was I put just enough to give it a thin coat on the inside, and I painted it um, while it was attached to the saucer section. I didn't want to risk spilling anything or sp over spraying it. So it was just enough just to get some, like I said, just to coat it. So now that that's all set, once this dries and I can go ahead, I'm going to start putting in all the windows up into this section. All right, I got pieces 124 in. You can see. Now in the kit, these are clear and you're supposed to paint them. But the lighting kit comes with a note with its own um, molded piece and it's already colored. So that's all set. Looks good. Alright, we're gonna move on to the uh, the upper part of the primary hull. And like I said I had cleaned it, get all the dust off, and all the hair from the dogs, and I'm ready to start putting in all the pieces and see that's what we're going to start doing and I'll show you what that looks like as I go along. All right I put the running lights on parts 105 and 106. You can see the green. Now remember the green is on the starboard side and the red is on the port side. So a little bit of the glue ran off so I'm going to have to touch that up um, later with the paint. And then we got the green, and we're all set to move on to the uh, the grills. Well, not the grills, the square pieces. Okay, so I got all the pieces in. And what I did on my other Enterprise, my 1350, is I painted these white. Um, what I tried to do with this is I tried to put the glue on it to see if it would cloud it up a little bit. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use the Dremel tool and I'm going to scuff it up just enough just to make them look white, but they'll still be clear enough to let the light through. And I'll probably do that pretty soon, once it's dry. Okay, when it comes to the pieces behind this, the, um, the island on the saucer section, let me show you, that would be four, that would be five and six. And five is here, uh, but six is missing, the little fin that goes on top. Um, so I don't have it, and I can't put what I don't have. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it like that. And he left these pieces, separate from the ship and didn't paint them for a reason so I'm thinking that he wanted to probably leave that that color because you can see it's a different color on that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it this color and like I said I'm not gonna alter the color of the ship in any way because he already took care of that so let me see if I can go ahead and uh, scuff up the windows just a little bit just to make them look like that because if I paint them they won't be as light but if I scuff them up just lightly with the either sandpaper or the Dremel tool, it'll cloud it up just enough. So let me see what I can do with that and I'll show you guys. All right, so I used the, the rotary tool or Dremel and what I wanted to do is kind of scuff it just enough so it looks like it's frosted because I want them to light up. Um, if I paint them white, um, it won't show through. So, if I can come up with something better, I'll do it, but for now, I'm going to move on. Okay, so what I did was I ended up finding part six. Um, it was in a different bag, um, labeled differently, so that's good. So I can go ahead and I'll put that on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the piece on. And that concludes the pieces that need to go on the upper saucer section. So now we can move on to the lower saucer section. 
and I'll show you uh, the progress as I go along. Okay, so I got all the windows up inside, and one of them had been broken. So I put that back together, and it's all glued, and the lights are in, and I'm going to wait for it to dry, and then it'll be all set to glue to the um, top of the primary hull. Alright, so I'm ready to start wiring the top of the uh, primary hull. You can see there's not a whole lot to do up there. But I got the light strips that I got to cut and put the lights and hot glue everything into place. Now, he, Joe does have bags that has wires in it. Um, I'm going to have to go through everything and uh, make sure I get all the parts that are ready. So I'm going to go be, I'll be looking for C, M, G, O, well you get the idea. So when I get them all set up, I'll show you guys when I'm ready to start wiring. All right, so I gotta make sense of all this because a lot of the letters are missing from the wires and he actually cut a lot of them. Like, what are you doing, brother? These are all set to go. You don't have to cut these up. So what I gotta do is I gotta get everything kind of uh, organized where I can pair up the wires to the, to the diagram. So let me start out. I think... Uh, I think these are for the bridge. I just gotta double check. This isn't cut, so this might be O. What is it for the bridge? Yeah, O. So let me get these and uh, organize and I'll label them and show you guys. Alright, so I think I got it organized. Um, I don't know why, but one of the M's he had cut, so I had to reconnect the end piece to go into the circuit board, and I had to label the other one M, I'm thinking, because that looks just like the diagram. Um, I got the three light strips. Um, I had to label G. This is going to go to the circuit board from the light strips. And I needed three connector pieces which are labeled C. So I labeled them C. So, now I think I'm ready to hot glue everything into the, uh, the upper part of the saucer section. And I'll show you what it looks like as I go along. Okay, so I wired the lighting strips and I get them hot glued into place. This is wire G, that's gonna to go to the circuit board in the bottom of the, sec of the primary hull. And I wonder if um, Joe was getting confused because these things can be uh, temperamental. The one with the two lights has to go on the left-hand side of the wire when you connect the alligator clips. Now the wires that go to the PC board have to have the two with the black dot on the side of it. Positive and negative. Positive and negative. Okay, so I hot glued the wire M into place and the other wire M this one would be port, and it's a little bit longer to go to get to the uh, circuit board, so it's a little bit longer. And the other one has shorter version uh, way to go, and that would be the starboard one. So, I can, uh, this is all set, this is all wired to test it out. And what I'm going to do is, um, when I do the bottom of the saucer section, when I do the wiring, I can test it out because the circuit board is hot glued into place. So this is all set, you can see. And what I'm going to do now is when um, we can put the finished bridge into the B and C deck, 
and then we can hot glue um, the lights in when that's ready because this is O and that's going to surround the bridge but we got to put the finished bridge in to B and C deck and then we can glue that permanently to the top of the saucer section. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it came out like, looking uh, pretty horrible, but luckily it's going to be small, so now I'm going to put the lights on and get it ready to put into the um, A, B, and C deck. Okay, so I hot glued all the lights into place, and it's ready to put in. Okay, so what I did was I got all the lights glued to the bridge. Um, I hot glued the bridge into place and I put the, uh, the saucer island into place and I hot glued it to keep it secure. I ended up hot gluing it um, probably, well I hope it works, but I was thinking it could uh, eliminate some of the light leak that could possibly come out. And it couldn't hurt um, instead of the regular glue. So. When this hardens, I'll be able to attach this to the uh, bottom of the saucer section and pretty much finish the build part of the primary hull.